Hey, it's Bethany with Nutritious and Delicious, and today we're going to be talking about how hormones can actually affect your weight loss, so stay tuned. <music> So you're trying to lose weight and it's getting really stubborn and you're finding that you're not actually dropping any weight whatsoever. Now you might be wondering what's going on. You could be following any plan out there, but th there's three factors you have to look at. So this can compromise your weight. Now the first one is stress. The second one is your thyroid health and the third is adrenal fatigue. So I'm going to go a little bit into each of these and talk about, um, what it exactly you should be looking out for so when you have these three factors going on in your life if you are not correcting them at the root of the problem the weight loss isn't going to come off um, no matter how much you try so this is why when i have um, my consultation with my clients i'd like to ask these questions as well just to kind of find out why you know programs in the past may not have been working as well for them so the first one is stress now we all know that when you're stressed out your cortisol levels are really high and what happens when you have high cortisol levels is you actually hold the fat around your middle. So um, this is actually a harder place to lose weight and it's also the most dangerous because if you have a lot of fat around your midsection, it's around your vital organs. So you don't want that. You wanna have that coming down. Now, when your cortisol levels are really high, um, under extreme stress situations, your body will basically compromise these three things. It will compromise your reproduction, it will compromise your digestive system and it will also compromise your immune function. So this is why when people are very stressed out, they actually get very sick because your immunity is low. Therefore, whatever pathogens or, you know, colds, flus, all that kind of stuff is going around, you likely will get it because your immune system is compromised. Um, the other one, too, is reproduction. So um, if you're having a hard time getting pregnant um, that's another factor as well. So if you're extremely stressed out, you're actually compromising your pre reproductive system as well. And your digestion. So if you're not um, digesting your food properly, your body isn't absorbing the proper nutrients and therefore you may be just absorbing the calories, but you're actually not absorbing what you vitally need to sustain life and therefore you feel fatigued and it's kind of a bit of a, um, a cycle that's going on. So you have to correct the stress levels in your life before you can actually start to lose weight. The second factor is your thyroid health. Now I find this is very predominant with women especially. Um, reason being because we are the ones that are experiencing typically having a baby, um, menopause, things like that, you know. So it's usually a hormone imbalance. Now the thyroid is located in your throat here and it regulates everything. It regulates your sleep, it regulates your um, again, reproductive system. It also regulates um, your temperature, everything. So you really have to take care of your thyroid health and that's why many people are on thyroid medication. Now, there's a simple blood test. You can go to the doctor for it um, to check it out because it's not something that can really see from the outside. Um, it usually accompanies things, again, like general fatigue, um, thinning of the hair, uh, thinning of the eyebrows, things like that. So you want to check with your doctor and go get a blood test for that one first before you start losing weight. Now the third factor is adrenal fatigue. Now your adrenals are located on the top of your kidneys, which is in your, your back. Um, now the adrenals are what help you with your stress levels. So if you're constantly stressed, constantly stressed, constantly stressed, your adrenals are putting out all those hormones and basically they burn out. So this can be things from work 
relationships, life in general, when you're in prolonged stress. Now, prolonged stress can actually cause sweet cravings. It can also cause salt cravings. Um, and the general rule of thumb when you have adrenal fatigue is you have brain fog, you have really low energy and quite depressed mood. So a couple of these things like the thyroid and the adrenal, um, they have a few symptoms that over relate. So this is where you need to go to the doctor and find out first what's going on. So if you notice any of these issues in yourself, you actually want to correct them first. So stress your thyroid or your adrenal glands because these things are actually regulating your entire body system. And if they're not functioning properly, you are not going to lose weight and you're going to be fighting an uphill battle and it's going to get very frustrating. So you want to correct these health issues first. So this is why I do um, a consultation with my clients to find out, you know, the symptoms that they're telling me um, first off, and then we find out kind of what's going on. So the six month program I'm building right now is going to be customized to you and your life. Now, a lot of this talking about stress, adrenals, um, thyroid, I'm going to give you guys a lot of information, a lot of the knowledge and the skills I have from when I was a nurse, um, talking about all these things because I actually want to help you guys lose the weight and get onto the right track. I don't want you just doing like a regular program and wasting your money. I want you to actually learn as you go. So you're gonna gain the knowledge and you're gonna actually get actionable steps you can do to get onto a healthy journey um, so you can lose weight for the long term. This is a long term program. Now we're only accepting the clients we already have as members. So if you'd like to get on our wait list for the six month program that's being built, you first have to become a member. So use the link in this video here and contact me and we can have a discussion and talk about what's going on with you. In good health, see you soon. Bye for now.